Hello, hello. Uh, my name is Aidan Nelson. I'm a visiting faculty member at New York University's Interactive Telecommunications Program, and I'm here today with you, Lee. Hi, I'm Yu. I'm currently a resident researcher at NYU's Interactive Telecommunications Program. And we're presenting on ML5.js, which is friendly machine learning for the web. But first, I think I need to say a little bit about why two people from an art school are presenting at a web AI conference. Uh, ITP was founded as a graduate program in the 1970s with the goal of democratizing access to media making. Uh, here you can see a photo of our founder, Red Burns, with the Sony Portapack, which was one of the earliest portable consumer video cameras. Uh, Red recognized that these technologies had an incredible power to change who could tell their story and how. And even as over the decades these technologies have shifted from videotape, in this case, to personal computing, to the internet, to AI, to web AI, the mission has remained consistent, which is getting students to ask how they could enrich their lives, the lives of ordinary people, and improve society. So that brings us to ML5 and why is it friendly. So ML5 is an open source JavaScript library with the goal of making machine learning approachable and accessible to a broad audience of artists, of creative coders, and of students. It is built on top of TensorFlow.js, and it integrates closely with P5.js, which is a widely used um, creative coding framework. It's built and maintained as an open source project through a collective effort from NYU's campuses in New York and Shanghai and from creatives all around the world. So a bit of history about ML5. So in 2017, DeepLearn.js, a predecessor to TensorFlow.js, was first released. And an ITPer named Cristobal Valenzuela worked to integrate this library with P5 and created some of the first examples. As, ML5, as TensorFlow.js was released, ML5 grew alongside it. So as examples and models were added to TensorFlow, ML5 took them and wrapped them in a friendly and incredibly accessible API. Here you can see a GIF from PoseNet, a human pose detection model running in the browser. And throughout this process, ML5 has been taught alongside existing creative coding frameworks like P5.js and through these existing channels. Um, so it's been taught in both graduate and undergraduate courses at several universities. It's been taught at workshops in art spaces in New York, in Berlin, and elsewhere. And it's even been taught in primary and secondary school workshops. And this is all because we have a focus on providing this initial entry point to working with AI and working with machine learning as a creative platform. In 2019 and 2020, with the release of media pipe models supporting face key point detection, hand pose, and object detection, we worked to explore creative use cases of these models and making them available to our students and artists. In 2021, we worked with uh, colleagues at the NYU Law School to develop an experimental open source license and code of conduct focused on the ethical use of AI, uh, building a neighborly approach. We used a modified version of the Blue Oak model license. And most recently, we've been in collaboration with NYU, Shanghai, uh, NYU community members in New York and Shanghai. We've updated for compatibility with the latest versions of TensorFlow and its pre-trained models and we've improved our a API and documentation. So what does ML5 look like in action? So machine learning frameworks are typically geared towards people with somewhat advanced knowledge of linear algebra, statistics, data science, and years of programming experience in a language like Python or C++. Obviously, I don't need to speak to you all about how accessible the web can be. Um, so we wanted to present a way for folks to think creatively about how to use machine learning as a creative platform. So ML5's examples are all built using P5.js and the P5 web-based editor, 
which means that all dependencies, all model weights are available using a single script tag. Uh, in this example, you can see a face key point detection, which the model is instantiated, the webcam feed is uh, grabbed, and the output of the model is visualized all using about 35 lines of code. So in practice, what this allows is for students to very, very quickly get up and running in jumping to the creative use cases. And these might be in building interactive installations, in building web art projects, and they might integrate with other libraries like 3JS, or in developing games design. So next, we'll hear a little bit about ML5 today. Let's take a look at today's ML5, how it is used by our students and educators to make creative applications of machine learning and how it teaches machine learning in a friendly approach. ML5 encourages friendly and creative applications of machine learning and invites the community to explore alternative and experimental interfaces. One of our students create this unique project that reimagines bird watching as an interactive web interface. In this artwork, she uses ML5's hand pose to let user engage with the interface through hand, point, hand key points detections. And then the contour of the hand key points simulates the bird watching gestures and the point of view of the binocular. This example is built with P5.js and ML5.js directly on the P5 web editor. This shows that how they together make it simple to get started with building interactive web art and experiences with all minimal setup. Other examples of using ML5 to create experimental web interfaces. The example on the left, which we just saw, is a sound synthesizer controlled by the user's mouth. The opening and closing of the mouth triggers the start and end of the synthesized sound. Once the mouth is open, the opening size of the mouth controls the sound volume. The Sound, the pitch of the sound depends on the tilt of the head, and turning the head to the left and right will adjust the harmonicity of the sound. The example on the right is an experimental drawing application that uses user's face as a paintbrush to draw on the web canvas. Both examples utilize ML5's face mesh along with P5.js. ML5's body pose model is commonly used to create interactive screen-based art and installation that responds to body movement, such as in dance performances or live audience interactions. Traditionally, creating these type of installation art often require extra hardware, like Kinect, or specialized software, like MatMapper, Touch Designer, or other programming tools like C++ Open Frameworks. However, with ML5, everything can run in the browser using just a web camera. This makes the setup process for art and exhibition much easier and more access accessible. It also reduces the need to learn new hardware, software, or other programming languages. The creator of this artwork mentioned that he has always wanted to create real-time body movement-based installation art, but hadn't pursued it due to the inconvenience of requiring extra hardware, software. However, with ML5, he was able to achieve this easily with just using a web camera. And he was also able to enhance the artwork by combining other web-based sound library, such as Tone.js or P5 Sound. 
NL5 also has body segmentation ability, including selfie segmentation and body pics. They enable students to easily swap and style their backgrounds without a green screen when drawing and making creative applications in P5JS. When using ML5's image classifier and sound classifiers, they are often paired with the teachable machine. This is because working with the teachable machine allows beginners to get started with transfer learning with very little data, short-term training times, and entirely on the web locally without uploading data to a server. This makes it a friendly and approachable way for beginners to play and experiment with pre-trained models. This integration also helps our students quickly prototype their projects and simplifies the process, creative process for both students, artists, educators to experiment and develop their ideas. Besides using the pre-trained models, you can also train your own machine learning models in the browser with ML5's neural network. The example we are looking at here is a simple gesture classifier trained with ML5's neural network. It is featured on Dan Schiffman's Nature of Code website, where it is used for educational purposes. Training machine learning models can sometimes sound intimidating for beginners and artists. However, ML5's simple web-based approach allows beginners to explore machine learning without needing advanced technical skills and extensive data. Uh, so we're excited about what's next for ML5. We have ongoing research projects in collaboration with uh, our friends in NYU Shanghai. Uh, some of those researches involve, uh, as you can see on the top right here, this is an image segmentation model that's backed by Transformers.js. Um, so we've been excited to, to look into new backends uh, and what models might be allowed uh, by integrating them into ML5. Uh, on the bottom right, you can see an example of a, a project that extends ML5's web-based neural network class to support time, uh, time series data, which allows for gesture recognition and has a lot of creative use cases. And finally, uh, we've been inspired here today. There's, there's a lot happening in web AI. We're ex excited to explore other collaborations, integrations, and expanding the pedagogy around AI for creatives and creative use cases. Uh, thank you so much, and we look forward to talking to you at the break. Thank you.